Sydney's growing metro train network is meant to deliver faster, more reliable trips. But some residents west of Bankstown in the city's southwest are worried it'll only make their commute even longer. That's because 13 existing train stations will be converted to a metro, forcing some passengers to change trains several times a day. The Southwest Metro is promising more reliable trains from 2024. Between Sydenham and Bankstown, old tracks will be converted to a driverless system, isolating two western lines severed by the new metro. Transport activists say that means slower journeys for 20,000 commuters who lose direct services to the CBD. They will be isolated from the rest of the Sydney Trains network, having to change for the first time ever since the rail network was built. Many commuters will switch lines twice, at Bankstown and then Sydenham to reach the city circle. IT worker Kashif Ahmed from Birong says his current 38 minute trip to Town Hall will end up taking over an hour. So if that changes come in, I have to take three trains to reach the Town Hall, which is such a pain for me. Transport planners say overall, Sydney will be better off. We've designed a high capacity metro system, which is why we're very happy with the single deck. People can get on and off quickly, and that's why we think we've got the right solution for a, a long term capacity. But Sydney University argues more than 3,500 students and staff who travel to Redfern Station each day face up to 26% longer travel times each way. Helen Huynh, a student from Yaguna, wants better consultation. The communications has not been effective for um, this multicultural community. There's a lot of Vietnamese people in this area and they haven't been shown any like uh, Vietnamese language um, communication towards what's happening. The government says it's also exploring new options, like rail shuttle services. We will provide a rail service. There are a number of options. It would be wrong of me now in this inquiry to say we're going to do X, because that hasn't been finalised. The Upper House Inquiry will report its findings next March. Greg Miskelly, ABC News.